September 4, 2020, this is to be used as additional proof of MK Ultra. Uh, this is to be used as additional proof of extraordinary renditions, hijackings, overseas abductions, which in this case, from year 1995 all the way to mid 2006, almost to year 2007, let me drugged up to other the North American continent. We're talking about South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, Western and Eastern Europe. In this case, in particular, we are talking about old Bohemian. Now, if I Google one like this, as you noticed already at the beginning, it throws you straight into cemetery of old Bohemian right there, whether you like it or not. And we'll just repeat the words of maybe I don't know, maybe even Google owners, Google owners were involved in this all along. Just to remind of what basically what went on uh, over there in the Czech Republic. It was some other scenarios too, but I think this had a lot to do with it, uh, as I already have explained. Uh, definitely the situation that's got everything to do with this individual right here, this is known as check Trump all you got to do is just write down check Trump and you're gonna get this individual this is a CIA individual working his way against Czech people uh, who managed to grab still a considerable amount of uh, money from the Czech taxpayers and is also seen by uh, Western governments in the same light as Kaczynski, uh, well students of Kaczynski, now Morawiecki and Andrzej Duda. Uh, so I am sure you understand the type of uh, people we are talking about here. Once I have presented the circumstances of this uh, graveyards and all this background I'm about to talk to, uh, I am just going to resort myself straight to the audio recording to prove that, in fact, I was in a Czech Republic all along uh, when I'm not supposed to be there ever. Uh, I'm not supposed to be within this 11 and a half years from 95 to mid 2006 elsewhere than twice in Ecuador. That's all there was. Uh, and that was with my ex-wife. Other than that, I'm not supposed to be anywhere. I was actually all over the world, drugged up and taken out for a ride uh, all over the world. Let's go. And I'm going to play you the audio recording in which I recognize a Polish gentleman. To be really specific, once I cross the border, I am going here in the morning, I'm trying to catch a bus. I just start the smartphone, throw that back inside of the pocket. When I have a gentleman coming toward me, and I just right here somewhere at this bus station area right here, somewhere. Uh, I record this conversation between the two of us. Okay, I, I tell the man, I said that from the beginning I did not catch well. I just thought of the phone and this and that. And he says, no, I am, uh, I am not from uh, New Bohemian uh, or Old Bohemian, whatever it was. 
what is the uh, I am from Halpek basically I am from the Polish side of the border then I am certain that the man is from the old Bohumin, from the Czech Republic, from the old Bohumin. Um, but this is just not the case. He says, no, I am from the Halpek, I am from the Poland, from the Polish side. Halpki. Oh, you're from Halpki, and I was sure that you're from uh, Bohumin. Okay, now, what exactly is the reason why I think that he is from uh, Old Bohumin? Well, the reason for that is simple. Uh, this man, I am going to tell you, I don't, I don't, I don't state this in the audio recording because it didn't come to me immediately. But right now, I was thinking about what else I can tell about this man, right? Since this is basically what I am doing. Uh, this man once had like a five-year contract working for some Czech company, which I am not precisely sure whether this company. <sighs> You know, it might have been actually even in New Bohumin. It was a five year or 10 year contract that he had with his company and he would go from the Czech side, from the Polish side to work in the Czech Republic. Yeah. Um, then sometimes I believe, I think the year was like 2001, 2002, I'm not sure. 2001 maybe something 2001 2002 something like this that contract ended and they give him another three-year contract but something like this but that was through the company which was just about mm, that's a good one maybe about two three hundred meters down the street uh right here in old bohemian still check company that's what i think it was and as we continue to talk, I remind myself, however, at that point, this is what I tell, I'm telling you right now about the guy, if you want to go and check about him. Uh, I remind myself that he was not one of the first people. He was not one of the first people that was involved in this MKUltra, but he was present in the picture already sometime since 98. And he would hang around and this and that. The guys, usual guys that would get to know me already in 95 and 96 those first bohemian guys some which ended right there on uh on a graveyard and sometimes in the worst year for these guys was year like 2000 2001 2002 no oh, this is where mr paul eaton did a really good job i'm going to discuss this at the end if I will, maybe I can just point out this. This is the gentleman I am talking about. This is the gentleman who was the right hand of Donald Trump. Yeah. United States Army, retired Major General Paul Eaton. I did a poor one here. Let's do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Eaton. I'm a retired Major General, United States Army who however could not handle his personal issues uh he brought his personal issues related to his father who died in a in a mission in a vietnam uh all the way to the czech republic he was a very very wrong person very very wrong choice uh of whoever made a decision to bring these people over and because of the presence of vietnamese community in ostrava uh, soon after also in uh, old Bohumin, uh, he no longer could handle the frustrations uh, in respect to the Russians and Vietnamese community. This is a proven Russophobe. He turned against both and against Russians and against Vietnamese. And by doing so, he, he steered issues uh, in a Czech people because they were subject to the Soviet occupation for quite for a long period and once that started uh, society became polarized disintegrated a civil war break out 
something that is completely normal in the United States of America. Heard nothing, saw nothing, know nothing, under the table, civil war is a normal thing. But in the Eastern Europe, that was something new, uh, something yet to become. And boy, it did develop really well. It took off so well. Uh, and in Poland and in Czech Republic, like you would not believe. Um, people started to disappear. I pointed out the graveyard over there in old Bohumin. Um, and this very gentleman I am talking to right now, he experienced uh, job issues. He was updating about the work. This is some kind of a physical work he was doing. Sometimes I estimate in... I estimate sometimes in 2007, 2008, 2008, 2010, I think he landed somewhere the job then on a police side of the board that he was doing something instead. And it was something maybe even like plumber, some, some kind of job like this, physical stuff he was always doing, like a worker related. Um, Of all this group of the guys he was with, he was the last one um, that I would know of, with the exception of the man who ended up with a hole in the throat, who developed uh, throat cancer. Uh, that was in year 2010. He was the last one, this one was the last one in 2005. So before the last one, okay, before the gentleman um, with a throat cancer uh, who experienced uh, serious issues uh, in this area uh, job related uh, that kind of stuff he ended up jobless it was first that, that he was without a job and uh, a second thing I remember that they put him in a hospital boy He wasn't the only one, it was others too. And stuff like you wouldn't believe, people were just disappearing and... Well, this is actually so horrible that... Uh, boy, you would... Uh, not even want to wake up from, uh, from these drugs. Maybe you would just wanted to proceed. Um, and uh, once you gained conscience from those drugs, once you recuperated from those drugs they used to drug you up, to drug me up, um, I would love to think that something like this never ever happened. I didn't want to think about this stuff because it was so horrific actually. Uh, the nightmare will just not go away, basically. They keep coming back with more and more issues. This is what was amazing about all this stuff. This is why this video is now. And so, as we continue the the talk between the two of us, yeah. he says, I'm from Halki, I'm from the Polish side, and I'm still sure now that you're here from Czech Republic, just as I stated, he used to work in the Czech Republic. He had a one time, like a 10-year contract, he worked in this company, if not even more. And yes, this was actually in a new Bohumin. And then what they did was, in years sometimes, I think in, like in year 2001 or something like this, he gained another contract, which was like only three year contract, something in that sense. He tells me, no, this is, this is, he treats me like a little bit crazy here, right? He goes like, uh, he goes like this, we are at old Bohumin right now. Uh, uh, the new Bohemian is further, or maybe he's actually really unsure that I would not even know where I am. Uh, no, I am thinking about how to locate him quickly and identify him through my memory. So I get another MK Ultra proof. I said, What's going on, man? How are you? I don't know, have you been in a year like 2000, this is Astanovium, I'm thinking, what am I going to say? He interrupts me and he says uh, 2019, <laughs> 
Золотой фронт 19. Золотой фронт. Я сказал, нет, нет, нет. Я сказал 2000. И я думаю и думаю. Думаю и думаю. Много. Да, да, да. Yeah, twenty twenty first, twenty twenty first. Two thousand and five, two thousand and six. In two thousand and five, two thousand and six, you were on retirement. Doing nothing, sir. Basically, you were like shortly retired. You were on retirement. What what happened to you in 2005 and 2006? I ask you. It was something like this. Okay, uh, he says no, 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 no. I was not on retirement. And I said, come on. I said uh, you were in a hospital or something like this. They did to you. And he says, yes, yes, yes. It was like this. I said it was, huh? So now I point out in 2005, 2006, eventually the man was even in a hospital. Now, that's why I said it makes sense when I said that cemetery, old Bohemian, you know. Um, Problem, Tom. Yeah. 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 I said the problem there. I said idiots. He says no, no. Problem, yes, no. They make a yes, problem no. to you. I remember. Yes, no. I remember. Now he's all silent. Yes, he knows that I know him. Ale te znam, co zrobili problem, co wy wszyscy jesteś dobrzy ludzie. To wy po pierwsze swoje jesteś ludzie, nie polityki. I don't know, but I also know that. They make problem to all of you because, on the first place, you are people and not the politicians. He says it is true. Muzika Ja zrobię coś. Ja nie, ja nie, ja nie jestem jakiś soldat, a. Listen, I'm gonna tell you straight what happened. I told him like this. They did this to you, also to the Czech people, not only to Polish, because on the first place, you are a people, because you're willing to help. Because you saw someone in need of help, you helped, and this is why basically they did to you. Ale też znam, co zrobili problem, co wy wszyscy jeste dobrzy ludzie. To wy po pierwsze to jeste ludzie, nie polityki. No tak. Kurba to, co się tam robi. Ja znam, co je to. Po pierwsze to. Co zrobili to, to zrobili też Czechom to. Dużo ludzi to zrobili, ale zrobili po co to zrobili? Zrobili co wy po pierwszeństwie jeszcze ludzi, nie polityki. To chcieli się pomagać w Polsce. I wszystko to jest było. I tell him, you only wanted to help me, that's all there was. No. Tak samo można. He says it's possible. I to, a polityki zobaczy... The politicians, the politicians, they saw you. Oni chcę za sobie korzyść. Oni chcę mówić ludziom, co są potrzebni. 
politicians want their own interests in it. They want to tell, they want to convince people they are necessary. I zarazu co nie są potrzebne. Co co zrobię więcej gorsze sytuacje na świecie. Głupot na They make things much worse than what even are. They are unnecessary. And and the man already tells me, now you can hear him saying, they make stupidities. You know, he admits, he says, they do stupidities. He agrees with me completely. I tell him it was not necessary to hurt the people. It was not necessary to hurt the people. And he said, but what can we do now? That's what it is. I tell him I will do something. I promised him that I will fight for him, that I will fight for others. I promised him that I am not the one who just, well, throws the gun into the cornfield and walks away from it. I will fight for all of you. I will do something about it. I will fight for all of you. There were people who lost their lives because of this stuff. It was not necessary for this to happen. He says, I know, but this was in the 90s, he says. Okay, uh, he was going to start, he said like this, this was in the 90s. And I said, well, what was it? Well, I was in Ukraine and he was going to tell me about his political involvement in Ukraine and this and that. Uh, he talked about that stuff a lot to his group, to me, uh, and even portrayed himself as uh, a person who was, uh, I don't know, um, a troublemaker, a person who steered troubles in Ukraine. It's, I'm going to, I'm going to put it this way. This, this, this man, this is a physical worker. This is a man with eight grades of grammar school. Never mind, I'm not saying, I'm not downplaying anybody based on, on, on education or anything like this. The thing about it is that more than he would want to take anybody down, just like most of the people, he probably had too much time at hand. And it's what got him in trouble. And even more so, what got him in trouble is what I stated a little earlier. It's just a fact that politicians believe that they are necessary now, actually in reality the more the politicians see that we get along with one another the more they believe that this is just not the right thing and they just believe uh, they just believe they have the right to meddle basically in our life right this is pretty damn bad when you see this stuff like this um, we're talking about a man like this, and I am deliberately using this here. So that I can set an example for people to understand, because I don't believe that anybody out there deserves to believe. I don't believe that anybody out there should see himself as a bad person as long as we have a people like this uh, who sent people who are more than willing to help me people who did help me people who got involved in MK Ultra because they felt sorry for me being in a situation I was in and people who were actually conditioned to participate in MK Ultra with the neo-nazi issues I don't want people like this to feel guilty, to be guilty of something that, on a first place, individuals like this should
should have prevented but did not and have in fact misused my case to hurt people and I say to hurt people because it's today that we can see people like the man you see right here sponsoring exactly if you would really go from the Mein Kampf booklet the type of program against both and Polish and against the Czech people we witness to the very same repetition of whatever took place 80 years ago and what ended up in a World War II today also in Poland not only in Czech Republic we see a, a, a most severe Nazi creation of the fascism war against the rights of the women war against the same-sex marriages against sexual orientation I'm gonna put it this way we see basically the repetition of what we have seen was defeated 75 years ago today because of the people like this and it's exactly this kind of people that pointed a finger at the people who were out there to help me out that's why I say period no I'm not gonna take your side these are the people who killed people back then and they continue to kill them today this is why I say no to this kind of stuff this is why I take the side of the people versus the politicians this is the reason why I am tell why I have told this guy the way I have told I'm not interested in his stories about what he was doing in Ukraine and this and that that he tried to present himself maybe even I anticipate that he deserved something like this he did not this was a long time ago he ended that stuff he returned back to Poland this is an older man than I am this man is at least I don't know 10 years older than I am uh, this is an older man who still would go in, in, in this with a group of the younger people uh, and just uh, have paid the price for that stuff whatever they have done to him in the hospital whatever unemployment he suffered and so on I did spoke about what they did to other guys and so on I cannot agree with this for me on a first place human being is a human being and to use me and I can tell you I can I can tell you something I'm gonna tell you uh, stuff that I have gone through during NK Ultra was horrific it was beyond beyond horrific I feel really really pity for Mr. Morawiecki for Mr. Andrzej Duda that they feel so little of me as a human being evidently people have seen human being in me and I regret that they are so full of hatred against people against the human rights that they have just used the opportunity to lure the people into trap and destroy them these are exactly the kind of people who also organized basically these are the people that attempted to organize a bloodshed in a Belarus for 2020 these are the people these are the SIA people that Donald Trump used as a wing as a something that this gentleman brought with him regretfully brought with him from the US to Poland and to the Czech Republic and what they believe they're gonna push they're gonna manage actually to push also through the Belarus and this for the cost of a civil war literally this is what the Germany this is what the Berlin uh, pushed for and that's exactly that's exactly what this boys this is exactly the kind of people that did this stuff were used for in a Belarus for 2020 I deeply 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 regret this kind of hateful fascist neo-nazi rhetoric which in the past was condemned by an individual like this it was condemned by the people like this but in the present it's playing exactly the opposite and they're actually pushing one forward also for the cost of the people because it's again Czech and Polish people that are paying ultimate cost believe me there is more place there is more space here at this Stary Bohumin, at this graveyard at Stary Bohumin, and a graveyard in Ostrava. And not because what people would think it would people would want, 
but it's because of the politicians that's happening all right so now the only thing i'm going to do is i'm going to play you this one more time the whole thing and uh, that's all i gotta say this was recorded again on september the 4 2020 evidently obviously that i did recognize a gentleman i pointed out absolutely everything about him you needed to know in addition i reminded myself more about it but that's all i can do sorry we're gonna put it like this continue from here i tell him i don't want to hear about this ukraine you always were a good polish man uh, take care of yourself thank you he's asking me if i have for a beer i tell him no man i gotta go find myself a job <laughs> I'll return myself sometimes nine o'clock something like this later on today 9 p.m. from Ostrava where I'm going for the job search now the only thing I will do is I'm gonna play the tape one more time you can hear the tape is authentic um, this is actually like 50 minute audio recording I would just try to spot one real fast if I do it. Oh, this is a lot of stuff here. And if not, that's okay too. Let's go with this. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, at Yeah, at what is on what is it? No, 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 to vi po pjevšenstvu jeste ljudi, ne politiki. No da. E kurba to, što se tam robi. Ja znam što je to. Po pjevšenstvu se zrobili to, to zrobili te s Čehom to. Dužo ljudi to zrobili. Ali zrobili, po co to zrobili? Zrobili se vi po pjevšenstvu jeste ljudi, ne politiki. Se htjeli se pomaga. To je sisto to je bilo. No tak samo možno. I to, a politiki za bače, oni će za sebe korist, oni će mulić ljudem, če so potrebni, a iz razloga, če nisu potrebni, če zrobije vjenca i gorše situacije, ne ti je. Gupotne robi. Gupotne, niž je bilo, ne je potrebno bilo, z njih s ljudem više. Če se zrobi? Ni ja zrobi to. Ja nie, ja nie, ja nie jestem jakiś soldat, da puszczę tak, nie, 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 ja skończę to wszystko. Ja się będę borić za wszystkie was. I były ludzie, co, co, co stracili życie, i było, wszystkiego i było. No ja, 
To jest niepotrzebne, to jest takie rzeczy niepotrzebne. Ja byłem, ale to było w 90 latach. 90. Ale co był? Byłem na Ukrainie. Dwie rzeczy były dobrze w Poliaków. Do widzenia. No, to są dwie rzeczy. Dwie rzeczy dobrze w Poliaków. Piwo nie masz. No? Piwo nie masz. A nie masz, a piwo wszystko nie masz. Ja szukam pracy. Muszę do Ostrowej znaleźć pracę. Wrócę od dziewiątej godziny nocy. Do widzenia. There's just nothing else here to add to this. Uh, this is yet another proof about my being in this city, Hauptkirch. Like I said, this gentleman already was involved since 98. They gave you uh, quite a really decent background about his life, also on the Czech side of the border. Uh, I would play you this, but I'm afraid that uh, YouTube is just gonna ban me then. They're gonna say that uh, I'm using an authorized music license. I wanna say thank you very much and to Polish and to the Czech people, to foremost the people, to everybody who saw a human being in me because this is what I am. Uh, and I promise you I will continue to fight not only for my right but also for your rights uh, to be seen in this world as a human being because we are human beings. Thanks for watching this one until next time.